things get very busy around here and my home is started to fall apart a little bit <laughs> here and there so there are some areas that I want to fix and even further to simplify because that just helps me to keep and stay on track with the things that I have to do every day This closet is prone to collect things that kind of be pushing around and around until find the perfect place for that which is never happens <laughs> but I set aside items that I might use in the future also this is the place where I reach for the cleaning supplies so it's a high traffic area Here's the reason why I like to store everything in the same container because my brain can make a decision faster because I don't have to choose from shapes and sizes it's just only the content that I get to see so I can make a faster decision which one I want to use for cleaning. I have this soft scrubbing mixture that you can see the recipe on the screen and I love that I like to use this on many surfaces mostly on sinks and on the glass cooktop because it doesn't scratch the surface but I haven't used it for a while so it dried out but I have some leftover coconut oil fractionated coconut oil so it's always in the liquid form and I'm going to just add to it and it's going to be creamy again You're gonna see the process of organizing in this video as I'm changing things around and I will explain it why and for now I'm trying to just uh, simplify the laundry room one thing it's out of our way so it requires a lot of walking for the most used items also I just want to keep the things here that helps me to clean the clothes I met her back in 2005 was your crooked little smile that caught my eye Time went by and it was her and I She promised me to never leave my side But she left me here alone I know it's dumb, I still check my phone Cause I can't move on Whoa. Why did 
One of the thing that I'm going to remove from this room will be the batteries. We have some rechargeable one, we have some other kind as well. And we have some drawers in the living room. I'm going to move them there just because it's a more convenient location for that. And I'm gonna go through on this toolbox because it's collected over a year. It's just a collection of random items. So I'm going to put some things in the garage and then the most important things like the hammer and the basics one I will put into the drawer in the living room. in essential oil and the whole room will smell so nice I always love this scent after cleaning it's just fresh and sweet at the same time some wooden box on my wish list I have a few of them already but it's been a very long time I purchased them the last time and I just couldn't find the one that I was looking for which was a smooth finish and this size because IKEA has a smaller one Home Depot, Home Depot has some that are bigger but it's it's kind of very rough <laughs> and it's a weaker quality but I find these at by Mart and it was $9.99 so the price was amazing and my goal for this closet is to eventually have more natural elements and more wooden tone in there but until we get around to do that I'm going to work with these boxes so basically that will give this built-in vibe <laughs> to the closet where I can hide all those things that I want out of sight and out of reach uh, that would be the winter clothes and I'm already putting away some of the summer clothes not all of them because we still have some warm weather goal for today to fill up these boxes up there 
and some will stay empty but uh, a few of them I will fill it up with some pillowcases and sheets and blankets and some of the things that we don't use that often so these shelves behind the door I can occupy them with something that we use on a more regular basis There are a few reasons why I like to use the same sheet every single time. So when I wash the sheet, I put back right away after I dry them and that way I don't have to fold them at all. So these are just backups. Each person in the family have one backup just in case something happens with the dryer. That one sheet method works for me very well. have my back and forth how much stuff I should keep on the countertop but I'm ending up with the most useful option for me is to keep the everyday items nearby the cooktop and that would be the little wooden utensils and spoons and the bigger ones as well so I'm just going to use a little tray to give a more cohesive look and I'm just going to add some sage that I cut from my garden For next, since I have those wooden boxes, <laughs> I am going to put some of these molds in there because I don't use them that often and I could just have an extra space in the drawer which is always needed and I also am going to move things around a little bit. As I started to open and empty out a couple of drawers <laughs> I started to become a little bit overwhelmed so I'm just going to clean out a few that I know I'm going to stick with that I already arranged in a way that I like it so that will be just a quick cleaning before I continue with the organizing I really don't prefer to stack items in my drawer of course there are areas where it's necessarily but especially with the pots I like to keep them with the lid so that way I can just grab and just put it on the cooktop so it's easier and faster Thank <laughs> you. 
think I'm going to move this box on the top of the pantry we'll see that <laughs> but for now I'm going to switch a couple of the items that I moved on to the island uh, this is not working out for me over here I don't use it in this area and I just I don't use it that often to be on the top drawer which is a golden place and I'm just going to move all the serving dishes and plates that we like to use and since it's a bigger drawer I hopefully going to be able to fit all of them in there and the smaller drawer will hold all the baking items You can tell by the colors I'm in full swing for fall. I just love the warm colors, especially orange. It's my favorite. These are about seven days of eggs of procrastination <laughs> and also I got a bunch of apples from a friend. I want to process them and make some apple sauce and I have some tomatoes so over the weekend I'm going to cook with those and I have some parilla leaves that I dried and I'm going to save them for the winter and i'm going to clean the shaft and i mean like a deep cleaning <laughs> that i have to do here and i have to move the shafts and clean the wall as well The funny thing as we clean the house it's it's a never ending open or I should say open ended <laughs> project because one leads to the other one so I just needed something from this drawer and I realized that all the things that I decluttered from the laundry room is still sitting here so I'm going to fix that now. I'm 
going to hang some items in the kitchen and that will close this organizing for today i really hope that you enjoy this video and if so don't forget to share like and subscribe and i will see you soon in the next one bye